Hi, my name is Matt, the AT Guy, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Victor Reader Stream version 1. First thing you want to do is turn on the power button by holding it down for a few seconds. The power button is right on top. Welcome to Victor Reader. User key, not processed. Please wait. Amelia Earhart. So before I do anything, I'm going to press 1. 1 is my basically my media button. It's going to tell me everything on here that I've loaded. So, bookshelf, talking books, 4, books, 1. Amelia Earhart. So I'm going to press 1 again. Music, 1, book, all music. Music. Notes, 5, notes. Notes, if I want to record notes. And I will show you how to record notes later. Talking books. Four. Books. One. Amelia Earhart. Then I'm going to press six to hear my other books. Two. The Rape of Nan King, The Forgotten Holocaust of World War II. Six. Three. Reclaiming History, The Assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Then the Let's jump to another chapter. Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald is not, I put in, in simple words. I'm going to pause right there. Let's create my bookmark by pressing my check mark twice. Go to bookmark. Insert bookmark. And then I always end my actions by hitting the play button. Bookmark. Four. Inserted. An easy man to explain. A 6.5 millimeter Manlicher Carcano rifle found on the sixth floor of the book. I'm going to insert a bookmark here, and then I will show you how to erase only one bookmark. So to insert a bookmark, as I mentioned earlier, you hit the check mark twice. Go to bookmark. Insert bookmark. I'm going to press two. Two. And then I'm going to hit play. Bookmark. Two. Inserted. Depository building was ultimately determined by the... I'm going to hit play to stop. So basically, I chose the number I wanted to insert. I could have picked bookmark 1 or 2 or 9, but I chose to pick 2. Now, if I want to erase bookmark 2, I'm going to press the bookmark check 5 times. Go to bookmark. Insert bookmark. Start highlight bookmark. Bookmark list. Remove bookmark. Then I'm going to remove bookmark 2. I'm going to press 2. And like everything I mentioned on this device, I always hit the play button to follow through with my command. Bookmark. Two. Removed. Orties to have been the weapon that fired the bullet. Now, I have bookmark one, two, three, four, and five loaded. Let me clear all the bookmarks so I have all empty bookmarks. I'm going to press the bookmark button five times. Go to bookmark. Insert bookmark. Start highlight bookmark. Bookmark list. Remove bookmark. And then I'm going to press the 9 button 5 times. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Followed by the pound key. Bookmarks in this book. Removed. So now I erase all the bookmarks in the book by pressing the bookmark button 5 times and the 9 key 5 times. Pretty easy. 5 and 5. And then I press the pound key. If you want to highlight text like you would on Microsoft Word, you want to highlight the specific text, here's how you do it. You press the bookmark key three times. So let me first find a text, a portion of the book I want to highlight. In his interrogate. Identification of the murder weapon. In addition to the unfired cartridge found in the chamber of Oswald Manlicker Corona, you will Okay, let me highlight this part. Go to bookmark. Insert bookmark. Start highlight bookmark. It says start highlight bookmark. I press play. Start position set. Call the police also found three 6.5 millimeter cartridge cases and no one or cases. So I just want to highlight that part about the cartridge cases. So I have to end highlight bookmark. I only started highlight bookmark. So I'm going to press the bookmark button three times again. 
Go to bookmark. Insert bookmark. And highlight bookmark. And it's nothing's ever final on this device until you hit the play button. Usually you always have to hit the play button when you're done. It said end highlight bookmark. I hit play. Highlight bookmark. Three. Inserted. There you go. Just as I showed you, you press the bookmark key five times, and then you press the nine key five times to erase all the bookmarks, five and five. This is also easy and friendly to highlight bookmark and press the bookmark key three times, and to end highlight bookmark, you press the bookmark key three times, three and three. So very user friendly with this device. They're always giving you the same number patterns to help you remember. A couple other features I wanna show you is the recording feature. On this side, there's a big red button. Very easy, press down the red button to record. Start recording. It tells you start recording, so I will basically repeat what I just told you from my recording. To highlight the bookmark, press the bookmark key three times. To end highlight bookmark, press the bookmark key three times, and then press play. When I'm done with my recording, I go back to the red button and I hit stop recording. Stop recording. Note 6. Created. It created Note 6. I created five other notes previously. So if I want to play my notes, remember my media button was 1. So I gotta go, go to notes in my media section. So I hit 1. Bookshelf. Talking books. 4. Books. 3. Reclaiming history. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Those are my book section. Let me hit one again. Music. One. Book. All music. That's my music section. Press one one more time. Notes. Six. Notes. There's my six notes I recorded. And I'm going to press six. Notes. And then press play. Note. One. Testing the audio recording. That was note one. Note. Note three. It says note four. We the note five. Note six. It tells you start recording, so I will basically repeat what I just told you from my recording. There you go. So I had to press one, find the note section, and then it took me to note one, and I used the six to fast forward to get to my note six. The other last feature I want to show you is the um, volume and speed feature. So everything is back to the power button. I press it once. Speed. Here's my speed. Tone. Tone. Volume. I keep pressing the power button until I hear the option I want. For volume, I'm gonna raise it, but just like you would in any other device, up is louder, down is lower. Volume. Volume. So I've raised the volume. Volume. This has a teeny speaker because it's version one. Here's the earphone jack. I recommend plugging it into another external speaker if you want um, louder sound or use your headphones. Now, I talk very fast, so I, I don't blame you if you hear someone who recorded the book and they're talking too fast or too slow and you want to change the speed. Or sometimes you're in a hurry and just want to speed it up. Let's change the speed of the text. Speed. 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 Now, I went really fast. Let's hear how it sounds now. When I'm done with my recording, I go back to the red button and I Okay, obviously it's way too fast. Basically repeat what I just told you from my So I'm going to go back to speed again. Speed. By hitting the power button, hit down. Speed. Two. Speed. One. Speed. Zero. The floor of the sniper's nest in the southeast corner of the sixth. That's normal speed. Let's change the speed again. Speed. Speed. Minus. One. Speed minus one. Let's hear it. Of the Texas School Boat Depository Building. Two of the empty shell Pause. Go back to the speed button. Speed. Speed. Minus. Two. Speed. Minus. Three. Let's try minus three. We're lying directly under the sniper's window. In recap, one changes your media between bookshelf, music, and notes. Six is fast forward. Four is rewind. I kind of use six to get around the book if I want to jump from chapter to chapter. I always hit play after I find my chapter. This button's very important, your bookmark button. Press this 
one time to go to your bookmark, press it twice to create a bookmark, and press it three times to highlight a bookmark. Press it five times if you want to erase a bookmark. I hope these basic features will get you going and started on your Victor Reader stream. Thank you.